Time for puppy puzzle number four. So we've got some new puzzle uh, options here. I'll show it off as soon as we get to this power thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so at the power thing, we'll go down. Yeah, so it's sort of like an elevator. It's sort of like an elevator. Our puppy can go up and down. And you'll notice we actually have an up button here. What? Here, let, let me try that again. We have the up button, which moves our puppy up. Our puppy can fly through the air. Yes, our puppy has, like, rockets attached to her feet. Craziness, craziness. And this will actually allow me to cheat through the challenge. I, I can just hover up to the top and then hover down to the exit. And we can do the exact same thing with the bonus puppy challenge number five here. Just have your puppy fly up into the air and then go all the way right to the exit. Yeah, I know, this is kind of cheating. It, it totally bypasses the entire puzzle, but it's a legitimate solution. It's not my fault the puppy has flying superpowers. Yeah, I I'm sorry, that is just amazing. The puppy can fly. Most puppies can't fly in real life. Okay, so that is it for all those puppy challenges. No more puppy challenges now. Now we're just going to go straight to the end of the game. Here uh, we are going to go to the stables. Okay, you need to look like you belong here. Otherwise, we'll stand out. Okay, uh, look like horse riding people. Oh, that looks like a horse riding person. That looks like a horse riding person. W wait, wait, what, what, what? George, huh? Why does George have the crazy outfits in this game? To the stables. Well, I think we're going to stand out, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're totally going to solve the mystery here. Now I've seen everything. Now I've seen everything. This is gorgeous. I think this stable has a lot of answers for us. Let's see what we can find. I write stables. I want you to explain everything you've been doing. I can't talk. I'm just a building. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, building. You gotta tell us the truth. I like this music. Yeah, this is kind of fancy music. Little cowboy style music. Country music. My favorite. This looks like a part of Alexa's project. Another piece of the Gustav project. Man, all these Gustav project pieces all over here. The stables from the website. Yes, yes, yes. These were the stables. These are the correct stables. Waverly Meadows, just like on the bookmark we found. And home of Susie Q. <sighs> I love horses. Come on, let's investigate inside. Before we get attacked by barnyard animals. Yes, yes, yes. Do not get attacked by barnyard animals, everyone. That is not right. good. There's a lot of other stuff in here. You mean tech fair things? Exactly. I think I see something sticking out of the straw. We need a closer look. We need to search for more clues. I had a feeling we would get a hidden objects challenge here. Okay, let's see if we can find all these hidden objects. Aw, oh, that's cute. They have a, a horse named Ace, just like just like in Nancy Drew. Uh, uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Okay, what are these items? I wonder how this is used. Another part to the Suzy Q snack station. What part of the project is this? Clearly just a bunch of project parts here. That's a cool looking part. Yeah, it is kind of cool. Suzy Q must be here. Yes! Hey, 
and grains make sense here. Finally, it makes sense that we've got hay and grain. We've been finding hay and grain everywhere, but this is the only place where it makes sense. This will come in handy. Oh yeah, I, I always carry a bellows around with me, just in case. Good thinking, George. This is starting to come together. Come on, let's investigate these stables. I've got a feeling there's more than horse equipment in there, too. Okay, so now we're going to go from investigating the stables to investigating the stables. We're getting close. I can feel it. Let's search for more clues. Yes, we're getting close to the end of the mystery. I'm sure we'll solve it either in this video or the next video. Probably the next video. This, this video is about halfway over. Okay, so I need to find a sheep. I need to find a bag. I need to find the window cleaner, a bag of grain, and a note. Bravo! Of course! Sugar cubes for horses! Yes, that's where the sugar cubes came from! Another overdue notice for the same book. Wow, two overdue notices? The source of all the piles of hay and grain. And finally... Another classroom. There's a classroom inside the stables. Huh. This grain sack with the hole in the corner explains the grain we've seen all over the place. Someone has been carrying something around the school in this bag. And now the sugar cubes make another appearance. And here's the overdue library book that connects the borrower of this book to Alexa's missing project. Look, here's another classroom. In a barn? Maybe the rest of the parts are in there. Let's investigate. All right, everything's coming together now. Everything is coming together. Everything is all connected. I knew it. I knew it. What have we here? This must be Project Suzy Q. And we have the missing cue that we found at the gym. Plus all the other clues. And look, here are the blueprints again. Let's search to see if we can find the rest of the pieces. Okay, so we're finding all the parts. We we have finally found the Suzy Q horse feeding thing. There's Suzy Q. I like how Suzy Q has all those first place ribbons all around her to show that she is the best of the horses. She definitely gets my vote for best horse. Okay, and all the parts are here together, so we're gonna put them together. Look, it's a Gustav project. Whoa, we just found the Gustav project. This must be the Susie Q snack station. Right next to the Susie project. Another part to the Suzy Q snack station. Hmm, so all the, all the projects were out here. Hmm, what a strange part. This has Suzy Q snack station written all over it. Yeah, in big letters. This is the hideout of whoever stole Alexa's project. And there are two tech fair projects in this barn. Very, very mysterious. Okay, time for the final puzzle of the chapter. Alexa will be thrilled. We found her Gustav project, plus another project. We better get both back to the tech fair. Everyone will be so happy to see them. Almost everybody. I'm guessing that one person won't be very happy. That's right, George. Oh, um, let's use the wagon. We don't want the projects to fall apart. Good idea, Bess. Oh, but wait. The wagon handle is missing. We can program our puppy to pull the wagon. Alright, yeah, one person won't be happy, aka the culprit. Get this wagon out of here. Use the push command to move it. Hmm, let me see, and I think I think you can just cheat your way through this puzzle by by using your hovering puppy. You know, instead of jumping up and down these these barrels of hay, you just hover your way to victory. Okay, go down. 
Alrighty, and is this where I need to kick, or do I need to move over before I kick? Push, push, sorry. Didn't mean to say kick, I meant to say push, and we pushed! We pushed it out of the way! Yay! We're coding heroes. It's true! To the tech fair! Okay, to the tech fair and the final chapter where we will expose the culprit! Stay tuned!